This is the uh, eighth grade TCAP practice test. This is question number 65. The question says the table below shows the information Miguel recorded. It talks about the hypotenuse of right triangles. His first right triangle has a hypotenuse of 25 over 16, or the square root of 25 over 16. The R is the square root of 20. The S is square root of 25, and T is the square root of 169. The question asks, which triangle has a hypotenuse with a length that is an irrational number? Now, an irrational number is a number that can't be set up as a fraction. So what I need to do is go ahead and work out all of the square roots ahead of time so I could just look at what their answers are. Now, of course, the, ca the calculator is not going to show you a number that goes, if a number goes on and on forever, but you can sort of just type it in and see what you get. So I'm going to type in uh, the square root of 25 over 16. You may need to uh, put it in parentheses, possibly. Occasionally, if you put it into the calculator, you may need to have it look a bit like this. If you could put it in as a fraction, that's great. And if not, whatever. And hit Enter, and it gives me 1.25. Or 1 and a fourth, or 5 fourths, maybe. Well, that's a fraction, right? So that's not an irrational number, because I can make a fraction out of it. If I do the square root of 20, the most likely thing you'll get out of the calculator is 4.47. And it kind of runs on and on and on. If I do the square root of 25, I get 5. And in the square root of 169, I get 13. One of those, it seems completely irrational that you would ask me to write all those numbers out. This is the one that seems irrational. Like, I'm not going to write all those numbers out. That's irrational. If that is the one that you wouldn't want to write all the way out, it's probably the one that you're going to choose when they ask about an irrational number. So the answer to number 65 is just B. So unless the only other option that it would have when you don't call it an irrational number and it you have to write the whole thing out is if I had something with like 0.33 or 0.6666666. If I had 7.3333. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. You could try to convert it into a fraction, which a lot of calculators would do. If not, if it's the same number over and over again, or the same two numbers, then you would just write it like this. That's a rational number. It's just a uh, problem with the system, not necessarily with having to write it out. But if they're all different all the way out, or mostly different, it's likely that it's your irrational number. So once again, the answer to number 65 is B.